Hey guys, Jared here and welcome to episode 1 of Sit Down Saturdays. Sit Down Saturdays is a podcast which is geared towards the exploration and analysis of the most creative minds of the next generation. Today we're going to be joined by short film creator Julio Reyes to discuss his upcoming projects. Sit Down Saturdays is a podcast created by short film director and writer Jared Miller, which would be me. So tune in each Saturday as we sit down with a new creative mind and talk about what they've learned and what projects are in the works from them. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be joined with Julio Reyes. He's a local filmmaker, writer, director. How you doing, Julio? I'm doing good in your house. I'm pretty good, pretty good, can't complain. So, um... Here, tell me, tell them about yourself, because honestly, this is the first conversation we've ever had, like, voice to voice, I would say. Well, um, you know, like, my name's Julio, I'm 16, sophomore in high school, and I'm a part of my school's theater department. In fact, we're actually starting production for Legally Blonde the Musical. Oh, shoot. And I always had, like, you know, an interest in film, television, um, even from, like, writing the story and all the way to actually going along and producing it. Uh-huh. And I also occasionally make YouTube videos. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you have a YouTube channel? Yeah. Uh, dang. Dude, send that to me. I will link it right down below. <laughs> okay. So, um, what kind of, like, kind of developed your interest in, like, filmmaking and all that? Well, like, to be completely honest, I'm not really sure how it actually started. But I know, like, last year in September is when I, like, officially, like, got the idea to like start the process of the first short film uh-huh. um but i think before that it was really just starting off my youtube channel since you know producing content on like a weekly basis uh-huh but yeah i feel like youtube is what really truly inspired it. and also just like loving like watching films and just also not just like loving the film but also the how like the process of how they made it is also i find really fascinating uh-huh was there, like, a specific, like, film show that kind of, like, really popped out at you? Definitely. One of my, like, all-time favorite, like, TV shows is American Horror Story. Oh, yeah. Definitely recommend it to, like, everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, the director, <laughs> Ryan Murphy, is, like, one of my favorite directors, so I normally enjoy anything he, like, makes. Uh-huh. And as far as, like, movies, probably, like, the Saw franchise. Oh, yeah. It's, like, a big controversial because of, like, how gory it is. Yeah. But I honestly, like, love, like, the psychological story it has. And I feel like they did, like, a really good job of, like, making, like, very creative stories. Even if it get, like, gets a little repetitive after a while, it still, like, has entertaining factors to it. No, of course, yeah. And, like, I really like what you said about how um your, like, interest in shows, like, it goes deeper than just, like, oh, this looks cool, this is, like... Like, you actually, like, look at the creative aspects of it. Like, kind of the director's yeah, viewpoint. Yeah, like, all, like, yeah, all the ways of how they made things, like, look more realistic than just, like, using CGI. I think CGI is a little, like, overrated, not gonna lie. Uh-huh. But. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah. Same. I think you should be able to, I think telling a story, it shouldn't be, like, obviously, love CGI. I love, um, it's made creative, like, masterpieces and stuff, but. Yeah. Um, before they had that, people were still able to tell amazing stories, like at old movies and stuff, able to tell the stories. Yeah, doing like practical effects. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially um, like, like when you don't yeah, have, like when I we're feel like, um... I like it. Oh, sorry. Um, no, I just say the like, I like it when like car movies like do like more practical effects, just because it like kind of like preserves the craft of like. Oh yeah. What ha- what would you like used to do like with prior movies before CGI was like a major thing. Mm hmm. No, definitely. I um, I think it's also cool how like that ties into the more like performance. You know how um, it really brings out the performance more. Kind of like in theater, how like in theater you don't obviously you don't have CGI, you don't have all that, so it's more dependent yeah. on you know the performance aspect. Um. Definitely. So you're making a film right now. Yes. What is the name of that film? The girl in the mirror. The girl in the mirror. What is that film about? Well, what can you say on this podcast? Well, basically, the girl in the mirror primarily revolves around like a teenage girl named Amanda mm-hmm. who is struggling with bulimia. So basically, the whole short film isn't really like too complicated or like too like complex. So there's not really much to say in general, but it's truly just about like learning to accept yourself and just love yourself in general. Uh huh. 
no that's good um let's go where where do you kind of like find the vision for that no you obviously like bulimia and stuff so like once i decided to like officially like make the story like i was saying like it started in september um i was trying to i was kind of struggling for a while just thinking about what type of like film i wanted to do as my first one uh-huh. I usually like doing, like, horror related things. It's, like, my favorite genre. Yeah. And I kind of want to, like, step back and try to think of something that's, like, more, like, meaningful. Mm-hmm. Um, so, when, I, like, around September, usually when homecoming season's around, which is, you know, there's a lot of references in the film. When it, when it does come out, you'll see that there's a lot of references. But um, mm-hmm. I feel like when homecoming season comes, a lot of body image issues. Mm-hmm. So, in general, a lot of people usually struggle with that. So, especially during, like, homecoming, it's very heightened because everyone just feels like, you know, have high pressure on them by being evaluated by others. Yeah. So, definitely just, like, hearing a lot of hateful comments around me was Mm -hmm. just what inspired me to make something that can, like, pause, like, something like a positive contribution to, like, somehow help. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, what's it called you're right like when that time of year comes people like feel the need to kind of fill these expectations these kind of like yeah. unrealistic expectations for the most part and no i like that definitely um how you said to help i know you mentioned you mentioned a couple of times how you when you were like thinking the idea to like make a short film what was like inside you what like what made you want to make the short film to begin with well, it was really just about, like, you know, like, I really wanted to have that idea of spreading, like, ex- like, the idea of just loving yourself and not to put yourself down just because you don't look like someone else. Mm-hmm. Because that's honestly, like, really poisoning to your self-esteem. But I just, like, really wanted to, like, emphasize on that message to other people. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, no, that's really good. Um, let's see, God. So... You start this film, you write this film, when do you write it? Like, right now we're in February oh, 2020. When did you start writing the film? Um, when did I start writing it? Probably late September. Late September, okay. And then, um, so you wrote the film, what next? Like, what do you do with it, like, immediately after you write it? So, immediately after I wrote it, I basically, I took literally, like, two days to revise it, and I kind of wish I took a little longer. Mm-hmm. Just because now filming it, it has come out like a, like certain parts are slightly cheesy. Uh huh. Yeah. But after basically as soon as I wrote it, I just grabbed a few of my closest friends and we started filming. Oh, no, I love that. Just like spontaneous, like yeah, you got people. So like everyone part of like the cast and crew and stuff like they're all people you knew prior. Um, most of them, yes. There are a few people that I didn't know as much. Uh huh. But for the main majority, there are people that I just like commonly knew. Okay. Okay. And they were all just like really willing to like help you out. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's really good. It's really good. It's um. I mean, you probably know this now after like completing this film, but there's just something about filming and something about creating a project that like like from scratch with all you guys that's like brings people so much closer together yeah kind of like definitely um like because you guys share that obviously like you down to like the actors crew members like you all just share that yeah definitely this whole filming process was a big like bonding experience for all of us yeah so i definitely agree with that yeah Mm mm-hmm um let's say god so are you are you done filming? Like, where are you at in the process? Um, so far, we are only missing one more day of filming, which is going to be happening this Sunday. Oh, so shoot. it's going to be wrapping up, like, this weekend. Oh, shoot, that's awesome. So, um, what's it called? That's where, like, so throughout the process so far, I guess I would say, like, what's been, like, kind of, like, the most triumphant moment, kind of, like, the best moment you just felt, like, the best about yourself in the project? So probably like the best part of like having this like doing the whole process was just really you know like seeing it all come alive like I obviously wrote the script yeah. and seeing it like come out the way I envisioned it was just very like pleasing for me. Uh huh. Um, as far as things getting cramped, I would probably just say like there are obviously like I said um like 
it just gets a little cheesy just because I didn't spend as much time as like for revising, which uh-huh. is something I'll make sure to do in like future projects. And also um, having a tight schedule with trying to manage all the actors to film on the same day. Oh my gosh, scheduling, that's... <laughs> just letting you know me that's not gonna get any easier that's the lesson that i had to figure out it's like it's just it's always it's gonna be something and um it's like especially like because um i'm guessing you were making the schedule as well right yeah oh my like when it comes to directors like with all the things that you have on your plate all like the script supervision also having to worry about the schedule you know how frustrating that can get definitely <laughs> oh my gosh like what do you think so far is like your biggest takeaways from doing this like for a short film that you wrote directed all the way through um i feel like my biggest takeaway is that it is definitely not an easy process and uh-huh. it takes a lot of like dedication and just like patience mm-hmm. like if i like you know getting everyone to film on the same day is very tedious and so, I mean, I just needed a lot of, like, patience and dedication because if not literally, if I had no patience, production would have probably ended, like, in a month <laughs> I just would have given up. Yeah. But, you know, I just wanted to, like, actually went, go along with it because I thought this, like, message was very important. So I, you know, wanted to make sure I actually committed to it and went all the way through. Oh, yeah. No, that's good. You definitely feel so much better about yourself, too. When it comes to like, yeah. like, yeah, just like seeing how like you took it all the way through. There were times obviously were tough and times where like you kind of doubt it at some point. But like just seeing it all come alive just like takes all those worries, like puts them all like to rest. Yeah. All right. So, um, so you got this film down. What's next? Is there anything you can disclose, talk about? So I am currently working on this five episode web series titled Maniac. Okay. Um, like I said, horror is like my favorite genre. Uh-huh. So I wanted to step away from doing something that's like so like meaningful and very like you know, impacting to doing something that's like more fun for me. Yeah. Something that I can actually like express myself fully. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically Maniac is like a horror slasher series where um the cats are just trying to figure out who, like, basically who is attacking them. It's a very, you know, typical story plot that, like, a lot of movies have recycled. But I think uh, I came up with, like, a way to how to make it, like, actually unique. Oh, dang. That's yeah, awesome. And then I actually have um, two other projects just in the talk at the moment. Uh-huh. One of them is, like, a collaboration project, which I can't really say much about. Gotcha. And then the other one is another web series I'm actually working on. Oh shoot! Okay, so um, definitely going down the route of like web series and stuff. You're gonna release on YouTube? Yeah, definitely. Awesome, awesome. Sounds good. Um, shoot. And for this film, for going back to the girl in the mirror, um, have you thought about like a release date, release time, period of time? Um, I'm hoping. To release it sometime in May because uh-huh. now obviously after I like finish filming this weekend I do not have to go into the process of trying to edit it and making it as like the best it can be Ooh, and yeah. also I am working with um, a composer for the score of the short film oh, so my gosh. just trying to work with him to being able to make all the tracks for the short film that's really awesome man what the heck I probably want to get you on the back on this podcast about me. Like maybe after all that, maybe the talk will be filled with a lot more stuff. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I'll be down. <laughs> Dang, awesome. So, um, so in conclusion, you're a local filmmaker just completing his first short film. Went pretty well, feeling pretty good about it, and you're off to work on more and more stuff. And that's awesome. Yeah. Really love to see that, man. Thank you. All right. Thank you for coming on, Julio. Have a great night, man. Stay tuned to hear more about Julio's next projects. And thank you guys so much for tuning in for episode one of Sit Down Saturdays. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Jared Miller Film and subscribe to me on YouTube at Jared Miller. Hope you have a nice day. Tune in for new episodes each Saturday and positive vibes only.